My name is Dr. Shannon Shea, and I wanted to give you a little bit of information about myself and kind of my journey in behavior analysis. So I'll start at the beginning. I always wanted to help people, and I went to Nova Southeastern University to get my master's in mental health counseling. And I did, I got to the very last semester or the one before my last semester, I don't remember. And I've had a lot of questions come up, um, like which paradigm works best for which uh, mental illness and how do you know if your treatment has really worked? Um, and if the relationship is so dependent on the therapist, is it the therapy? Uh, I wanted more data, more proof. I wanted more like scientific control. So at the end of my program, they released a new specialty track is what they called it and applied behavior analysis, which I had never heard of before in my entire life. And I read a little bit about it and it had like graphs and data and that was what I was looking for. So I thought, what's another year or two in school and more student loans at this point, I may as well check it out. And I did, and I loved it. And I found um, my place in the world for uh, academics, for uh, therapeutic approaches. I loved it so much. So I uh, was the first person to graduate, as far as I know, that's what they told me, from NOVA's ABA specialty track, um, which is kind of a funny thing, in 2007. Yes, 2007, I graduated. Uh, and there weren't a lot of BCBAs floating around. There were not a ton of EIBI sites or anything like that. So it took me a little while to find a good supervision site because um, I you know, wanted uh, a good experience. And I found an amazing job in foster care with Lorraine Winston, who was the best supervisor that you could possibly ask for. And I learned so much and I got to work with children that, you know, did not have de developmental disabilities or intellectual disabilities. They were all um, neurotypical or typically functioning rather uh, with diagnoses like oppositional defiant disorder, conduct disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, ADHD, things like that. Um, and uh, it was to stabilize placements. And also we worked with families toward reunification we taught parenting classes based on ABA, coolest program. Um, we did lose funding, which was sad. Um, and I stayed in foster care for a while, but then for personal reasons, I moved up to uh, New York near Utica. And there I worked in um, upstate cerebral palsy and I worked at the Kelberman Center. They had seven or eight students taking um, FIT's program in ABA, but no clinical supervisor. So I got to do clinical supervision across their entire program, which was amazing, because then I got to work in EIBI and see what that was about firsthand and with adults in their 60s, 70s, 80s, um, and then school age, because that was on site as well. It was a large residential program, or it is, it's still there as far as I know. Um, and I met amazing people and it was, it was such a good experience. Um, so I got to do a lot of work with autism and early intervention and just supporting people throughout the lifespan with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So again, a great learning opportunity. After a couple of years there, I moved to the Boston, Cambridge area in Massachusetts, and I worked with adults, um, and many adults in services are duly diagnosed with a psychiatric disorder of some sort. Um, you know, and even if they're not, a lot of people on the spectrum do have issues with things like, you know, anxiety. Um, so I found my background really useful in that. And, um, you know, I always viewed behavior analysis through the lens of mental health counseling or how can I help people with like depression, anxiety, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, all of that stuff. So I never thought it was this unique way of looking at ABA, but then as I was practicing, I found out that most people didn't think about it that way. Um, so I started giving talks on borderline personality disorder and depression and scope of practice and suicide. Uh, 
all kinds of stuff. Um, I went and got my PhD in behavior analysis at Endicott, which is a great uh, university or college, and it was an amazing program. I recommend it strongly. And uh, here I am. I want to help people pass their board exams, learn more about behavior analysis, and most importantly, learn why something would be a correct or incorrect answer. Because um, if you truly, truly understand ABA and you understand perspective and how everything works together, something will immediately make sense or not make sense. Um, and just doing drills on Quizlet or whatever multiple choice is not going to get you there because you'll eventually learn what the correct response is, but not why it's the correct response and why the other responses might be acceptable, but not quite as good or a total disaster. Um, so I've worked with many, many, many students <laughs> over the years um, and, you know, helped them study for and pass their board exams. And um, I want to do that for a lot of people. So I can't wait to meet everybody, comment, say hi. Um, and that's it. I hope to see or see virtually you guys uh, soon. That's me. <music>